Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine has announced full funding of the security and defense sector from the state budget's general fund. A total of 307.1 billion hryvnias, approximately $8.27 billion, has been allocated for this purpose for January and February 2024. In addition to the general fund allocation, over 5 billion hryvnias, about $134.6 million, from the reserve and special funds of the state budget have been designated to address immediate needs within the security and defense sector. Furthermore, all monetary compensation and social payments owed to personnel of security and defense sector organizations have been fully dispersed for the stated period. However, the National Security and Defense Council has identified instances of inefficient and irrational expenditures within certain entities of the sector. The Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine has been briefed on these trends, which could complicate resource provision to security and defense forces. To bolster its defense sector against the Russian invasion, Ukraine has notably increased its production of weapons and defense equipment. In 2023, the Ukrainian defense industry tripled its production, involving 500 companies, both state-owned and private. This surge encompasses various equipment, including indigenous anti-aircraft systems, electronic warfare systems, and tactical gear, with an emphasis on self-reliance. For 2024, Ukraine plans to further augment its ammunition production, allocating over 265 billion hryvnias, about $7.14 billion, for weapons production, repair, and purchase. Moreover, 90% of battlefield drones utilized against Russian forces are domestically produced. Strategic partnerships with foreign arms manufacturers, like Germany's Rheinmetall, are crucial for Ukraine's defense industry. Rheinmetall plans to establish a repair center in Ukraine for Leopard tanks and other German-supplied equipment, with future plans to manufacture German armored vehicles in Ukraine by 2024 to 2025. Despite progress, Ukraine faces challenges such as protecting production facilities from attacks, combating corruption, and implementing effective management. Limited investments in new infrastructures due to the threat of Russian attacks, coupled with corruption and inefficient corporate structures, hinder the country's efforts to achieve full autonomous production capacity. In related news, the government allocated 9.6 billion hryvnias, about $258.3 million, for the purchase of weapons, equipment, and protective gear. Additionally, since the start of the year, 20 billion hryvnias, about $538.5 million, have been allocated for fortification structures and defensive lines. The Ministry of Defense received 3 billion hryvnias, about $80.8 .8 million, while over 16 billion hryvnias, about $430.8 million, were distributed to regional military administrations for these purposes. That's all for now. See you later.